In this video, we're going to talk about the Earth's heat energy budget. We're also going to talk about the greenhouse effect, and we're going to discuss what does the Earth do in terms of uh, distributing its heat, also known as the heat budget. So just like a budget that we would normally have, um, the Earth also has its own budget. And so when we think about all of the incoming solar radiation that we get from the sun, that is our main source of energy, what does the Earth do with all of that heat energy? Well, when you break it down, 50% of all that solar energy reaches the Earth's surface. So out of the 100% of solar radiation coming in, only 50% on average reaches the surface of the Earth. 20% is absorbed by the atmosphere and the clouds. Another 20% is reflected by clouds. 5% is reflected from land sea surfaces back out into space. And then another 5% is either scattered or backscattered uh, into space by the atmosphere. And so when we kind of just look at it in a picture format, out of the total amount of solar radiation, 50% reaches the Earth's surface. 20% is absorbed by clouds and the atmosphere, so it never really gets to the surface. It's really just kind of lost within the clouds and the atmosphere. Another 20% is actually reflected by the clouds. Clouds are very reflective, and so 20% of all incoming solar radiation gets reflected from the clouds. 5% is either backscattered by the atmosphere or it's reflected to the atmosphere. And what I mean by backscattering is that when sunlight comes in and hits an air molecule, it does one of two things. It either A, hits an air molecule and then reflects it back out into space, or it comes in and is therefore scattered. So you can see here you have a stronger ray of sunlight coming in, but as soon as it hits this air molecule, it scatters its energy throughout the atmosphere and therefore doesn't really do anything. So that's why we say 5% of all of the Earth's incoming energy is either uh, reflected back out into space, which would be the left-hand side, or either scattered or backscattered throughout the atmosphere. And so that's why 5% is lost there. So just like you would have a budget, you work some job, and out of all of the money that you earned in a week or bi-weekly, depending on how you get paid, 50% you actually took home. So this is you know, what you chose to do with it. So 50% you actually used to uh, you know, put in your bank account, spend, whatever. Now let's say uh, you know, 5% went to your you know, 401k. Uh, let's say another 20% went to taxes. Um, let's say another 20% went to health insurance, uh, and let's say 5%, which would be the uh, reflected by land sea surface, and let's say that was, um, I don't know, dental, who knows, okay? So when you get your total paycheck, you know that you don't get all of the money that you earned in a week, stuff is taking out, um, but you do end up with most of the money that you made. And so the Earth has a very similar heat budget. Now let's focus a little bit more on the 20% that is uh, reflected from clouds and absorbed by the clouds and the atmosphere and the 5% that is reflected from land sea surfaces uh, back out into space. When we talk about the sun's energy that is actually reflected back out into space, uh, by either land sea surfaces or by clouds, what are we actually talking about? Well, remember how I said that 5% of all the incoming solar radiation is actually reflected by the surface of the earth, whether that be land surfaces or water, um, it actually depends. And so this graphic basically just shows all of the different land elements that actually reflect solar energy. So water actually varies between 5 to 80%. So if you've ever gotten the worst sunburn of your life at the beach before, that is exactly why, because it doesn't necessarily mean that the sun was particularly strong that day, but the sun could have been at such an angle that it reflected enough solar energy back onto the beach where you could have gotten twice the amount of solar energy. And so if you've ever gotten the worst sunburn of your life at the beach, I know from personal experience, then that is the reason why. So that's why water varies. Asphalt or any kind of blacktop 
is dark, and we know that dark colors tend to absorb solar radiation, whereas light colors, or let's say like a light roof, um, will reflect more amounts of solar energy than a block top would. Snow and ice is the most reflective, and so that will reflect about 50 to 90 percent of all the incoming solar radiation that is backscattered. So this would be 50 to 90 percent of that 5 percent that is actually reflected back out by the surface of the earth. Uh, thick clouds, right? So on a day where it's really thick clouds, temperature is technically cooler because it limits the amount of solar energy that is actually coming through. But thin clouds, right? How many of you have ever gotten a sunburn on a cloudy day and it necessarily wasn't thick clouds, but it was actually really thin clouds? So thin clouds will filter out even less amounts of solar energy. So this is what's known as albedo. And albedo is just how reflective is the Earth's surface. So when we actually look at this image and we look at the 5% that's reflected from land sea surfaces, on average, it's about 30%. So 30% of that 5% is scattered back out into space, 20% of which is by clouds, 5% is by land sea surfaces, and 5% is back scattered. So that is what albedo is. It's how reflective is the Earth. Fresh snow has the highest albedo. It's the most reflective, and black top is the least reflective. So it has the lowest albedo. And after a fresh snowstorm, you might have noticed this. After a fresh snowstorm and there's, you know, snow has just fallen, you've had a massive snowstorm that came through the area, and you go out to drive for the first time, and the sun is extra bright and you walk outside and, and you really need sunglasses, you know, it's so bright, you almost can't drive because you can't see because it's so bright. You can imagine how reflective snow is if you've ever been in that situation. So that's just an example.